All right, three, two, one. Hey everybody, Harry Welchel here today. I have Felipe Gonzalez with me. We're gonna be talking about how Felipe went from zero to $5,700 a month in sales in a little over 30 days. So Felipe, why don't you just take a moment, introduce yourself, tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. Hey Harry, so before anything else, thank you very much for you know having me here. It's a pleasure. Uh, myself, I, I work with high ticket salespeople and I help them with their revenue and try to, you know, create a predictable way that they can increase the revenue 20 percent or more. And but I did start my you know consulting kind of thing long, long time ago, 2019. So background, many years working in the sales industry in the as a health coach. Right. And um, in the in cruise, cruise ship industry. So I would be in the cruise ship helping these people to be healthier or move into a healthy lifestyle. And that's how I learned sales. And that's how I learned public speaking. That's how I put all together. And then I decided, you know what, I want to do this online. I start doing online, but I wanted to do it related to business. So that's how all they end up being today. I help, you know, people that are in business or sales related and help them increase, increase their revenue through specific techniques. That's fantastic. So you have a bit of a background in sales, different roles, and I'd love to dig into that some with you in a minute. Um, but you've only been doing this current offer, though, for about a month, right? It's pretty new. Yeah. So, yeah, this, the, the <laughs> offer itself came as a, the, as a result of working with you, you know, looking what, how could we come up with, a, with something one I can do effectively to the market needs yep. and how we put this together in order to acquire clients. That's it. Nice, man. So as you think about kind of what you're doing in this current offer, what do you think makes you unique? The buy me ring. <laughs> Let, yeah, tell, um, tell me more about that. What is, I don't like for those who are listening in, I know that we've been working on this buyer mirroring thing, but I don't really know what it is. Like, tell me, tell me what is it? <laughs> so, well, Harry, it look, works. So the people come and ask, what the hell is that? <laughs> so, it's just, um, it's just uh, like people that are into sales, you know, that, on a subconscious mind, right? If if you feel comfortable with me, you be you would you will open yourself to me easier, right? And as you open yourself to, you know, you take away that barrier, and now there's a close and closer relationship. And then if you have a need and have something to help with that need, you'll be open to maybe listen an offer from myself, right? So how do we how do we shorten that process of, you know, you are a stranger and we. How do we make it in a very short period of time? How do we turn a person from a stranger to, oh, I like this guy. He sounds, you know, he's, he seems familiar to me. That's through by mirroring. You know, you look at the people's behavior, look at the people, you know, patterns and how they like to be interacted, how do they like to listen, how they like to be speaking to, you know what I mean? And they put that together. And then once you interact with this person, leveraging those skills and those behaviors, the person will be very happy to, or without even knowing to, you know, speak with you. I love so that's, it. It's, it's I a skill, but I never, this is important, Harry. I'm sorry. I knew the skill very well because that's what we use in public speaking. That's how you, you know, have the crowd with you, right? How do you make these people listen to you? You use by mirroring one of, one of the skills, but I, I, I was not able to use that into my consulting business. And yep. this is why it's so important because this is somehow you were able to, me and you, and you kind of guide me towards that direction. That's what happened. Yeah. So can you share a bit more about that? So you, how long have you been in public speaking and like, what, what have you done in public speaking? So public speaking, me doing it near 10 years, right? Me teaching other people to do, I would say since 2017. Let's go back 10 years ago. Like, so what sort of public speaking, how did you first get into it? So everything started with cruise ship industry, right? So I was this very young guy, 24 years old, so I want to travel the world and make money. That was the only thing. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> and make money. So I said, oh, I'm leaving here. So I, I signed up for this job, personal trainer. I thought I was going to be a personal trainer on board the cruise ships, right? I joined this big company. I joined a cruise ship. <clears throat> and then when I go there, I know I'm supposed to give these seminars. You know, for people on the cruise, these free seminars. You didn't know you were, you were, you were going to do that. That wasn't part of the job description. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I knew that, some, but I thought the main thing was, you know, you do some classes, you do some personal training, and that's it. 
but that's, that's my thought. <laughs> so I, go, I have to do, public speaking, like I have to do a seminar, right? She is a free seminar. She attract the people, you know, and, and they have to bring that people into a one-on-one consultation, obviously sell a package. That, so that's the sales funnel. Let's call it like that, right? So that's how I got introduced. My first time was horrible, like bad, like very bad. What was Honestly, bad about it? <laughs> it's bad English. Half the people left, complaints, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, but I liked it. You know, I liked it. I knew I could do it. So I, I started, you know, I decided to learn with, from people that do it well and acquire those skills in practice. And over the years, I become, in my perspective, I become good. I became really good, not just having these people following me in terms of what to do next, but also, you know, taking now actions. Like I want to spend the money now. I want to put in the time now, you know. So were you and, always like selling through these, the original public yeah. speaking, or was it ever just to try to get them to like be more healthy, like sign up for a personal training, a free thing or something yeah, like that? It's always, you, it's always with the idea of, you know, you need to take responsibility equals to if you are unhealthy now, it's your responsibility, so it will be your responsibility to, to become healthy. So how we do it, you put in the time, you put in the effort, you put in the money, right? So that was always the mentality, mm-hmm. which which is true, right? So it was always towards sales, always. It was never like, hey, guys, good job, you know, and that's just nothing else. It was always towards sales. And um, and that's how it happened. So and I did this for almost nine years, almost nine years. So you were, so you were gotcha, so you got your start doing these personal training, public speaking seminars on cruises. And then at some point you started teaching other people how to do public speaking offline. Yes. Yeah, so now is yeah, correct. So I would, once you, I became experienced, right? I would always work with someone that has no experience like me when I first started. So what happened was I, I was able to find a way that worked very well for me. And then I, I, I upgraded, let's call it, let, let's say like that. And because again, I'm not an English speaker, right? So so public speaking without being an English speaker, if my English is not perfect, you see many errors or little mistakes, but that does not mean your message does not come across or your personality does not come across. You, I still can create that outcome I want from the crowd or from the audience. So how, how could I, you know, how could I use what I've done for myself? How could I do for other people, right? So that's how these new people come in, these new guys, and then there will be like a mess, like I was in the very beginning. So I'll say, listen, and come here. I would apply a couple of things that w- would work very well and very fast on them. So once I did, and these were other people at the cruise company, or was this elsewhere? No, they'll they'll come to work, like myself. We were contractors. They were know? at they were also on the cruise ships, and you basically like informally yeah. were coaching them and helping them get better at their right. their seminars. Right. Got and it. they were getting paid. So I decided, no, I want to try this with in other niches of the industries I tried. Then myself, I moved into the high-end luxury industry. So I, I left the health industry. Let's go do the same, you know, in the high-end luxury, talking about diamonds and, you know, timepieces. <laughs> Got it. But it just, it just changed the industry, but it uses similar concepts. Similar concepts. <laughs> and I feel like that brings us almost up to kind of today. So, like, tell me a little bit about, like, before we were working together – what was it, what were you working on? What were you trying to do? What was your kind of vision at the time about about your business? Yeah, so I thought, you know what, I'm really good at this. That's what I thought, and I can help people. So I'm gonna do this online. So that's why that's my what my. So in 2019, middle of the year, right? I I decided to learn. Okay, so how could I do this online? How could I do this online? That was my question. So public speaking, started, teaching public speaking, yeah, teaching that. Teaching public speaking. Then I went through research and okay, a lot of people struggle with the fear. Okay, so maybe I can focus on the fear of public speaking and then and I tr- and tried and obviously nothing really works. Not not because it's not a good niche or it's a good niche it's because I was not able to get in the the edge of how how to go in right and how to have these people that have the need and listen to me and maybe I could help them. So I was maybe a year. You Didn't know, you also, you wanted to like work with like, you know, hot, upper middle executives, like senior executives. Wasn't that right? Right, right. So, so once, but this was already with you. Like once we, once we started, the first time I said, I spoke with you, that's was, oh, you know, I help people do fear public speaking. Okay. Okay, cool. So that was after. So let's stay on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. Results were none, zero. I mean, I had a lot of, uh, of hours in, in uh, people speaking, but not really, not, in, not tangible results. 
that measurable things like okay, were you able to get in, leads? Were you able to get clients or anything? I, I mean, you get, but not really. Not clients, not clients. Like paying clients, no. I mean, you have people speak with you, right, on social media, and you have people, you know, um, asking questions, but not being coached by you, right? Right. That's what you know, the other day I knew I could help, but I was not able to. Then you came across, right? When you came across, I said, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, but we were talking, and as we start working together, then you came up with, you came up with different angles. That's where everything started, and the shift started there. You said, so, Philip, why work with, for example, leveraging public speaking to get promoted? That was the first for the first draft, first formula. Okay, get promoted. And that led to why don't whether you use public speaking in to increase sales, right? That was the second one. Or why don't you use it? Certainly, as we are kind of testing, okay, I go test, I come back, we speak again, I go test, come back. Somehow, we found this very unique niche that it works. It just works. It just, and, and, and not just works because the niche has that big need. Not everyone is comfortable to sell high ticket. But I, I know how to speak to them, the people that need the service, right? And I know how to do it. So totally. I was able to do that. And that's, that's, that was like, yeah, it just changed everything. It was, it, was, it was cool. I love it, man. So we're going to dig into that in a minute. Um, before we do, like, let's go back. So like when you were just working on helping people improve their public speaking, was that frustrating? Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> Talk about that it's, some. Because you know, you you know, he, I mean, we all we all have been there, right? We all have been there. We know we have a skill that we can share. Okay, we know this, but we don't know how how to find the people that wants this help with this specific skill. We don't know how to find them. They are there, you know, and they they want to find you right they want to find you but they but we don't know how to find them and say hey maybe i can help you so of course it's very frustrating when you know you have that skill you put in the hours and all of them obviously money and all the resources you have to make this something real because you feel good about because you help them but you're not having nothing back in terms of um you know of uh, actually helping them so you yeah, always were you always were very confident that you had a value to provide and that you could get it to work. It was just like figuring out the right way to do it. You never had doubts about that. Right. That's good. That's good. So um, what other things had you tried before we got connected? Like what what were you trying that wasn't working? Um, I tried. Um, well, I. I Different courses, following that those courses, um, um, but nothing. Uh, hold on, it was courses, but I mean, you could apply what you get, right? You learn, you go through the modules, you apply them, and you do learn. You learn, obviously, and if the course is good, you learn. But, but the problem is when you find the barrier, and the the course shows you a layout, but when you find a barrier specific to you, or to your niche, or to you know, to your situation, then you don't know how to how to fix that. And it's not in those courses. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not there. Um, so, yeah, I tried different courses, try hours and hours. Nothing really. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Um, so where did you first hear about me? So, yeah, so on the, in the process, right, what happened is when you, when you realize that on your own you're not going, you know, you're not going nowhere – or if you would go somewhere, I mean, you're still going to waste a lot of time and energy, most probably money buying this stuff around. So I start obviously looking for, right? I say, okay, let me see if there's someone out there that maybe can help me out. But I have to I have to be very specific, right? So we spoke about this in our first meeting. Like I, I'm very specific on who I choose. And then I, 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 I found this guy and then I listened and I was, what you do, whatever. And then he told me that, listen, Based on what you're looking for, because he was very good on lead gen, right? He provides lead gen. It's more like that. That's not what I'm looking for. I need, I, I need, I need the con. I need a skill. That's why I was looking for the skill of going out there, find the people that I can help, right? So, and, and he told me you. That's who was who was this? Do you don't do you remember their name or do you mind sharing it? Yeah, I mean, I I don't remember. Sorry. <laughs> right. Was it a client of mine or somebody else? Yeah, 
was it a client, an existing client of mine, or was it just somebody else who had heard of me? No, no it, was, it was another, it was another successful coach. Cool. And uh, if I'm allowed to say his words, he said, "Now the next, the next, the upcoming rising star, the rising star in organic type of a formula is Harry. So maybe we should speak with him." And that's how then I reached out to you on because we were friends already. <clears throat> we were friends on Facebook. And I reached out to you and say, hey, Harry, listen, we should speak. You know, I want to know what you do. That's what I have. So when we first connected, kind of like what piqued your interest? Do you remember? And then, yeah, so then I then we kind of spoke on, in text message. I, I, I asked, I said, listen, this is what I'm looking for. I, and then and what you do. And then um, and then we went to on, on a chat. Right. And as, on the chat, you you gave me a couple of insights. I said, OK, this guy knows what he's doing. This was my thinking process, and um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, what piqued me interest was like one, you were listening to what I was saying. Two, you were you were you were able to to understand in a very short period of time, and um, and that allowed me to. That was the first step to okay, okay, let let me see what maybe this is the guy that you know can can you know guide me around here. The basic was you were if as you listen to me and give me some couple of feedbacks, you know that were different angles that I was I would not I was not able to see them yet, right? Allow uh, uh, open me to okay, let's let's see what what we can do here, or maybe let's see if this guy can really help me. So it sounds like it was like learning a few things or getting some perspectives on what you were doing that you yeah, hadn't thought about yourself. Perspective, yeah, perspective. Cool. Right. So as you look back on the last thirty days. You know, we don't have to do like an entire play by play of every single thing that we've done together. But can you maybe speak to like two or three really big takeaways that have just been super helpful to you getting to where you're at now? Yeah, there's a couple. I know exactly what, how, how and why I was able to make it. Number one, when we first spoke with that and I used the brain, the, the engineer brain that I don't have. Right. Remember that? The engineer brain, like there's, there's some, sometimes just a little thing that stops the entire machine. And, uh, and I, when, I, when I looked at you, what, you, what was your background, and I, I noticed that it's the engineer thing. So, okay, so he can see things. He understands that everything has to be in the right place in order for the entire machine to roll, right? So when we first spoke, that, that was the impression I, I had. And I, I gave you a very powerful question that – uh, then you confirmed through your action. So what was that question? I, I say, listen, Harry, okay, listen, I understand access. You know, we, we, when you're doing well as a coach, the access is less and less easier to get, right? Like successful coaches don't really, cannot really give that much access because you have hundreds of people to coach, right? So how you give that access, that direct access. So that was the first thing you you, you gave me that, access in case of a need i say listen all right okay if i like if i need that access let's say to to because that's was the, the problem i had i could not fix here or there or figure out what, which direction so i didn't have the access to an expert that could help me right and you you gave me the access in the beginning I say listen it's not a problem you're gonna you know and then what happened was as we go along your your program is very well it's very clean like a person that understands zero about, you know, coaching, consulting, zero can go through your course and get it. Okay, that's that's it's clean, it's 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 easy to understand and not just to understand but easy to apply. Do you know what I mean? I understand, I can apply, I know what to do. So that's 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 the first thing. The second thing was, as you go along with your clients, I'm I'm talking about you, Harvey. As you go along with your clients, you are actually guiding them. The way you teach them, you're guiding them. And if the client is going left and you, say, and you think the client must go right, you will say, listen, no, don't go left, go right. Right. And you, 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 the way you work, the way you do, it's, it's easy to follow. And then the, the key thing was, so this was already the, 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 the knockout was when we were three, three weeks in, roughly three weeks in. And um, I, I, we are, me and you, I mean, we are discussing the, 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 one of the strategies. And you said, hey, Philip, let's go on a call. Let's go like a one-on-one -on -one call. 
And then you came up with this, let's go and go. I didn't ask you for that call. You come up to me. So that, that pro- proactive was powerful. And then that call, that call was a game changer because that call is okay. So we'll stop, blah, 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 blah. And then somehow we, we, you gave me a couple of things saying, try this, try that. I went and then fire came up. Do you know what I mean? When that fire came up, inside one week, I closed the first client. And inside like one and a half week, I closed the second client. And then two weeks late, I closed the third client. So that call, that call was you that came up to me to say, hey, listen, let's see what, where we have to fix or what's, let, let's have a look at this, right? I love Close it. In. That's very kind, man. I love it. That, that's, that's awesome. Um, now, like, but it, it wasn't all rainbows and butterflies, right? Like, you know, like there, that, that call, like t- t- you that can talk a little bit weeks. more specifically. So like talk a little bit about how, we iterated on your offer and then how we iterated on like your, um, your lead generation. Can you speak a little bit to those things? Yes. So, so my offer initially was, you know, public speaking, you know, fear, all of that. <laughs> so started, then we went from there to, I say, uh, okay, um, let's go to being promoted and use public speaking to get promoted inside your own job, inside your own corporation. Then from there, I went to, maybe I should, I say, hey, Harry, Harry maybe I should speak to an executive sales, exec, executive people, like high-end, upper-level management. Let's speak to those people to improve their skills, both speaking. And then your questions were powerful. Your questions were powerful. You just, because I was just coming up with options, right? But, but you're just shooting around. Is this, that's how you do it. <laughs> it was kind of random. But then yeah, I remember you, a, you, you were looking at uh, pharmaceutical sales reps for a while. Yeah, so they, they would say, let's use one niche, right? Let's use one niche. And, that, and then my thinking process was, okay, I wasn't held in the health industry. I didn't speak this language. So let's move. And I know sales. I know All of this speak. makes sense. All of it was very it logical. <laughs> sense. So this path, number, this is important, Harry. Like, that's exactly the, the path that I think a successful coach must go through, which is test, no, test again. Oh, maybe this works. And I'll tweak it. Go again, blah, blah, blah. And then you were able to do that with me. And that's what made the entire difference. Because on my own, I still, you know, figure out how to teach people fear public speaking. That's what, you know, after all this. So, and then that's very important. That's, I think that's the key of you, you doing so well with your clients that you can, you can listen to them and then think and then somehow, you know, try here, try there. And then as you try and then get that feedback and then you're able to figure out, okay, that's the venue or the channel to go. Yeah. And that's what happened. So then we moved to the pharmaceutical, and then we tested out pharmaceutical, nothing really going on, and then that call came up. This was already three weeks in. I go three weeks. I think you were a bit frustrated at that time. You were like, this isn't working. The, the words, no, no, I work with you, because I, I could see, it's not like you and I, you just, you know, now we are here in a dead end place. It was, it was never like that, right? It was like, okay. Uh, you were doing exactly what I was telling you to do, and it and it what yeah. you weren't quite breaking through yet, and you were like, Harry, I'm doing exactly this. Like, what do we need to do here? And then we just did one more loop. We did one more test, and we yeah. got it to, to get on block yeah. and working. Yeah, but and yeah, that's that's when that, that's when that call came in. The, the the key thing is that it's not like I was frustrated with the process of me and you together. That was not never because I couldn't understand. How are you trying to guide me in order to find that key angle, right? It was it was me say it was me like uh, not being able to find it. So it was not like a, a process frustration, like myself frustrated. I got it. And uh, frustrated in a, not in a negative way, but you understand. Totally. And so I would just say, um, I, I'm I'm I very appreciate the the words about the course. I've put a lot of work into it. I, I'm excited about it. Um, it's always room for improvement. But I think what I would call out is like. I think where a lot of people struggle is that they just watch videos and they don't actually ask whoever their coach is or their, whoever they've hired, they don't ask them for help on calls. They don't ask for help in their Facebook groups. And it's like, I think you've seen the value of, of working with somebody who's competent and having a lot of access to them to get specific help on your situation rather than just videos, if that makes sense. Right. hundred percent. Nice. So what like what so you've gotten three clients anything any interesting like highlights or funny anecdotes or stories with like kind of the clients you've brought on or any any wins so far with them um no the, yeah the, the clients are happy i mean I, again this is i this i'm two weeks in with one i'm like 10 days with another one like 
five days or something with another one. And Is it um, fun? <laughs> you can see the smile, right? Because you feel good. Not, not because you acquire the client for yourself equals to you generate revenue for yourself. It's not that. It's like you actually you actually change these people's life. And this is pretty cool. Like that's powerful, right? And um and and, and yeah, they are having their winnings already. I have a couple of screenshots already in terms of uh, those little steps, those little winnings that create that momentum. But um but stories with them, funny stories, I mean not really, I mean I do have funny stories around the process of acquisition, um, but the 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 most the, the 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 biggest thing out of all of this process, um, Harry, this is where I, I wanted to touch on is, man, is the is the is the is the word being predictable, man, predictable, so like predictable, right? Right now, I know, like bringing another ten or more clients in, it's just a matter of a time or my own effort. Powerful man, that's very it's not powerful. a fluke. It's not random. It's like you just know like, oh, the process, right? One hundred percent. And once you, and once you once you find that angle, it's just nice, man. It's very nice. Like you know, you know, like it's in your hands. When it's in your hands, it's one hundred percent you. That, that's that's powerful. So yeah, like what what's um when do you think you're gonna hit ten thousand a month in sales? <laughs> um, this month. Maybe this, this month. month? Yeah, like right now, we have a twenty second. Right, we have a week to go. You know, I, I, I want to read that. That's the mark I want to hit. That's awesome. So, so, and I, and uh, there's, I'm, I'm cooking something. So I think, <laughs> I think you got, you got some deals, was, you got some irons in the fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have something going on there. So I think cool. I will. Yeah, I think I will. Um, like, how does it feel like, how, like, do you feel like it's not been that long, but do you feel like your life has changed kind of outside of business or do you feel like it's on opening up opportunities for you in any way? Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, life has changed because once you, once you, once you taste it, right? Once you taste it and and then and then repeat it, and then you think like, so hold on, I can I can make something, I can make something out of this, right? So what happened is this is my my own personality, my own character. I just go all in now, and you know, literally I have you know I I putting all of my time, energy, focus, all. I'm not. It's not even funny to, to doing this. So. That's why in the group I say, you know, you, you, you see me less active in the group with questions because all of that energy. You're just time executing. <laughs> execution. And that's it, Harry. And, I know, and that's, that's why I know I know that, you know, more more positive things will, will, will come in. So I'm very confident now, again, because once we, once you get it, uh, you, just, you just work on yourself to improve inside that, inside that angle, right? So, so, yeah, I mean. Basically, it's I, now, now, I, I, I put aside my social life pretty much. I'm not, it's not even funny. <laughs> and all I do is just, is just you know, work to, to, to build my own business, you know, to grow it now. Like, it's not like the question is, oh, how can or how the question is like, you know, how fast can I get the second one or the third one or the fourth one and work with the clients? Like, how fast can I help them doing, you know, what I'm doing with them, which is pretty cool as well. Yeah, man, like your whole, um, what you said earlier about like um, getting the clients, it's not just about revenue for you. It's about changing people's lives. Like once cool. you've gotten a couple of clients, you're like, oh my gosh, like I have such an opportunity to have an impact, to get my message across, to uh, change the world in just a slight, small way, you know, small, honest, humble way. And that's what fires me up. And like every client you get, it's like, if you do well by them and they enjoy working with you, it's like you're building a new friend. You're talking to people all the time. Like you get a ton yep. of social activity. Yep. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's positive, right? It's positive. And let me tell you something, Harry. When we had the call after that key call, we had a quick call because we had that call, right? And then he said, okay, you schedule me. Again, was you? Not, I didn't ask. I said, okay, let's do this. Let's schedule a call where me and you are going to do this specific task together. Remember that? And then as we, I came out of that call, I say, hey, man, listen, I was able to do this, this, and that. So basically, one, that I was already ahead of what we're supposed to do in that call. Yeah. And as I'm sharing that with you, and this is all, man, this is all 100% honest. As I'm sharing that with you, I can see you happy. I, and, and then, do you know what I mean? Like, I think on that call, I said, man, listen, I have to say a couple of things to you. One, that you know what you're doing. Two, you care. Like, you really care about, you know your people to succeed and I can could see that not just because you were proactive to say hey Phil let's 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 talk now 
And then, and then that's because actually when I got those small wins that you know they were not that small, they were just now grow into something big. You could see that and you're actually happy. We were laughing and you know, and, and that was good, man. Honestly, they're hundred percent. That's 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 those two things I think is very important when, when you find someone to help to ask for help, which okay, does this person knows what he or she's doing, right? Can does, she, does he have the skill to help me? And true does he care? Those yeah. are two key things to look for a coach. And, yeah, uh, and, have, and, and as you think about like your business, right? Like if you don't have that joy and that excitement and that, that, that fun you experience when your clients are succeeding, it's like, maybe that's not the right niche for you. You know, it's like that, that, and I think you have that. It's like that, that is the fuel in the tank that keeps you going. You know, even when you have an off sales month or something's yeah. not quite working right away. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So, you know, it's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, so going back to like the beginning of our relationship, our sales conversation, why did you decide to do business with me? Um, <clears throat> so why did I decide to move in? You know, you when we when we were on the in the process, right, to see if if I would go in or not. Um, I, I I I had two questions in my brain to make a yes decision, right? One. Is does this guy can can he can he really help me in the in the process side like in the process angle can he really help me with my own concern like with my own problem and the second thing was um, can I have access to him if I need so those are the two key questions right those were the two key questions as I'm going through you know as we talk and I understand one you can help me right there the process. And two, I ask you if I could have access to you when, if I would need that access. That was that was what you know made me move in. Nice man, that's awesome. Um, and I know, like, I think you had to think about it. Maybe you talked to an advisor or a mentor. Like, what kicked you over the fence, so to speak, after that those conversations with your your mentor? Yeah. So and so him him he's like two times older than me, right? He's like double my age. And he's very, he's not, he's, 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 he knows business as well. And he knows, he knows he's smart, right? So I said, okay, listen, I, I spoke with him. I said, listen, this is the situation, right? This guy, this guy can help, uh, you know, what you think. And he said, this was his question. He said, okay, let me see who the guy is. And he did his own work, right? And then he came out and um, he saw, he saw, he saw what you do want. And he saw, you know, some interviews success stories and um, and he could see as well that you know what you're doing I mean I, mean, I was already in but, <laughs> but but he again but he he is like I through mistakes you make in life you you understand sometimes you need to you need to you need to ask or you need to ask an opinion or a perspective to someone that maybe went through bigger you know, things in life. So yeah, that like was he, he, he maybe had like a bit of a nose and you wanted to see like if he, if he thought that I checked out if, or if something smelled yeah, fishy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he knows me very well and he knows how I think and he knows the, the angles that most, most probably don't look at. And he always come up with some really powerful questions. So basically what I said, I said, hey, listen, go there and check yourself and ask a question to yourself and find those answers. That's it, done. Nice. And obviously there's the, whatever the questions he had, they were all covered because then he came back to me and said, Philip, I think this is a good guy. I think he can help you. That was it. That's awesome. Nice. That, front, that was it. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> so um, would you recommend others work with me? 100%. 100%, Larry. I mean, that's not even a question. 100%. So what sort of people in particular do you think I'm a good fit for? Um, <clears throat> well... Uh, one, a person that has a skill or something to offer, right? Something to offer in terms of um, a service that uh, you, 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 can, you can help others with. So you have, to, you have to have something, a skill. And and this person just don't know how to turn this skill into a business. I mean, it comes down to that. So I have this skill and I would be very happy to help these people. And with that, they have a better life, and I generate the business for myself, which I'm very happy and proud about. So how do I do? Like how? 
what's step one, step two, step three, you know? That's the perfect people for you. I love it, man. Yeah, like, I mean, you came to me and, you know, somebody superficially might think that like, oh, Felipe is like starting from nothing. But really, in my mind, not at all. Like, you have legitimate professional experience. You had valuable marketable skills. You just needed somebody to help you position it, package it, get the leads, right. and like connect with the people. And then once you connect with them, like you knew that you could serve them and get them results yeah. and make them happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's then, awesome. Yes. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the process. Okay. What? What? Okay. So how do I start? Oh, okay. Got it. What's next? Okay. Got it. Okay. I'm doing wrong. Adjust it there. Oh, sorry. I didn't see that. You know that that ongoing process is very powerful. I love it. I love it, man. So. Why should someone listening take action right now? Why should someone take action right now? Um, you're asking me like with you? If someone's listening to this call and maybe oh, they're on the fence, okay, why should okay, they okay, take okay. action right okay, now? Okay, so it's a good, very good question. Because one, going back to what I said earlier, what the way you teach, Harry, and I think, again, it comes from your you know, engineer brain. The way you teach is so simple. Like it just goes with the entire noise in the industry, in the consulting, uh, coaching industry. In the, like the, the, the industry is noisy, right? Like it's noisy. Everyone, right? Like you just make it so simple that someone that has no clue what to do just follows and has a perfect idea of what to do, right? And and once it's not just simple, it's very applicable. You can just apply, and as you apply. You get you get you get the outcome now. This is very important now. You, you just you can see oh I do this and I get that. And as you do it, as you follow the step one to the last step, as you follow, suddenly boom, you close the client. So why now? Because if if you do it the right way, maybe inside you know the first month you have already your first second client that you never had. You know I don't know I'm, 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 what happened with me exactly the same. Do you know what I mean? So now because the earliest you go and start doing this, you know. And following it, applying it, the sooner you get your first client, like 100. percent That's that's the truth. Yep, yeah, that's like. And here's a thing: you already had experience in sales, right? But you still hired somebody to help you with your sales and marketing. Why? Why is that? Have you ever thought about that? You know? Yeah, no, because I mean, you have experience. I mean, you know everything, right? <laughs> you do, exactly. That's that's it, man. That's all I'm getting at. It's like. You never know everything, and it's always right. helpful to have somebody else's perspective on what you're doing if you really want to Correct. get there quickly. You know. Correct. This is exactly that. So uh, when I even when I go through your through your own sales training, it's powerful, man. It's, it's powerful, and what I learn, you know, it's just it's just good. I mean, it's just good, and not just good. Like sometimes you get that inf- that type of information, you you get in, you feel like you understand, but then you don't really know what to do. Do you know what I mean? But it's just clear to understand and easy to act. This is that's why I keep on repeating myself. It's easy to apply now. That's very important. That's awesome. So, Felipe, this has been fantastic, man. Um, as we wrap this up, like, what is your number one piece of advice for coaches and consultants? <clears throat> what, I mean, my number one is I would say first thing is like. Um, anyone wants to get involved in the industry, I, I think they need to really do it for the others. Like, like, like I know we all do for business purpose and generate, you know, obviously dollars, but that that has to be seen as a consequence of taking care of others in the right way. So, whoever wants to enjoy, like to join the industry, like have the skill and really want to help the other, other people and with that type of mentality you know things will happen sooner or later and they'll happen happen well so that's that would be the main advice the second thing the second thing is uh, i would say to find someone that has the the, the the knowledge the skills you know everything in place and they resonate with to mentor them to start i, I would not say i would never say to start on their own it's just a big mistake Dude, I love it. Those those pieces are so good. Like the first point reminds me of um, I don't know who said it. I'm sure somebody famous, but like you heard the idea. Money is the echo of value. Right. Right. So it, right. I know. I don't know about you, but in my life, it's like when I like 
stopped worrying about like, like white knuckle, like being anxious about right. making money. And I just focused on like, I'm just going to help people and like right. do the best I can and help as many people right. as I can and, and work us on the work on the activities and focus on that. Then the right. money started following. hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> so Shoot. I love that idea. I love that idea. Um, so cool. Well, Felipe, what is on deck for you the next few months? What do you have in store for yourself? So, uh, no, my ne- so, so this is what I have lined up, right? You have three months to go to the end of the year. Okay. Um, my goal is to, I want to, you know, reach that 10, 10 client barrier. And as I reach that 10 client barrier, then I, I will have to look at um, moving from the one-on-one, you know, service delivery type of business model to, you know, something more like one group. Or, so I need to re- rearrange the, the, the way I and I will help people. So I, that's what I'm looking at in the beginning of 21. But I, I know, I know, but here's a cool thing, right? I know I will reach at least 10 more clients to the end of the year, 100%. It's just powerful. Man. Easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> I, I, I change my hair and everything. Yes, I'm going blown now. <laughs> is, is your hair change related to your business success? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a listen, man. It's a, this is the struggle. This is the success, right? So from now on, like, Two years ago, I moved from clean face to beard for a reason, you know? So now I go blonde. I just go blonde or light gray, whatever. Forget, forget <laughs> black hair or dark hair. <laughs> I love it, man. All right, so if people want to learn more about you, like where can they find out more online? It just look at my website, Goncalves. So G-O-N-C-A-L-V-E-S. That's my last name, Goncalves. Uh, so, oh, sorry, what am I saying here? Go, uh, consulting.com right? Goncalves so my last consulting.com. name is G-O-N-C-A-L-V-S consulting.com. Perfect. That's it. All right, Felipe, thank you so much, man. This is great catching yeah, up with you. you. Very excited for yeah. you. And uh, let's do another one of these in a few weeks and catch up where you're at then. Thank you very much, Harry. It was a pleasure. All honestly. Right. Bye. Bye-bye.